Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the art of alopecia. For those who don't know me, my name is Marcy and on this YouTube channel we primarily do wig reviews. Um, but I am very active on a few other social media platforms. I have my Instagram and my TikTok also under the name the art of alopecia. I also have an art of alopecia Gmail account that you can email me the old fashioned way. I just like to have that option just in case um, people don't necessarily feel comfortable reaching out to me via social media so if you have any questions or concerns or in need of support feel free to email me at theartofalopecia at gmail.com and I would be happy to connect. First and foremost before we begin I am so sorry about this stupid lighting that's going on it's either I'm lit or I'm not lit you guys know that I love to film my reviews in front of the natural lighting it's the only way that I do it because I think it is the best possible way to show off the wig as to what it's going to look like in front front of the natural lighting. So the sun is just like scorching into my room. Um, one, it's hot and two, it's really, really bright, but I've got double curtains going on. So I'm really hoping that makes a difference. And I'm hoping the sun will settle a little bit throughout this video. But as of right now, we're just gonna have to work with what we got. <laughs> Let's get started. So for today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a wig brand that I have never reviewed before, which makes things so much more exciting. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. This is exciting. Anyways, the company that I'm going to be reviewing today is called D Muse. Ah, I'm so excited. And for those who aren't aware, the founder of D Muse is Queen Danny G on Instagram. Um, if you don't know who Danny Gilbert is, she is literally a celebrity in the alopecia community. She is an overall queen. She is known for her impeccable makeup looks and also her snatched hairline updos. Like seriously, if I lived closer to Danny G, she lives in the UK, I live in Canada, but if we lived closer, I would be getting tutorials on how she just creates those snatched hairlines because I'm just like, that is amazing. But I also like to call myself a lazy alopecian and I just love a wig that's easy to throw on. I don't tend to play around with it because I'm just, I'm lazy. But this is a brand new company and I'm so excited to be reviewing it. Um, she reached out to me and we created a custom made wig for me so I'm so excited to show it off so let's get started so first and foremost if you didn't see my unboxing on Instagram no problem I'm gonna show you what came in the box unfortunately the box got wrecked in the mail it, sh it usually opens that way but now it opens this way which is okay I understand it's coming a long way but inside she filled the package with so much goodies which I very much appreciate for us we have a D Muse brush I love getting brushes because I lose them all the time We've got one of these, I, I don't know what they're called, but basically they are to lay your, <laughs> they are basically to help secure your wig after gluing it down. And then we've got some hair tools to create a snatched hairline and to style it a little bit further. These, these brushes are really, really great. And then we got a comb. You have no idea how much I appreciate getting combs. They are something that I lose often. We've got some wig tape, which is always fabulous. And then finally, we've got some hair glue gel and some melting spray to once again create that snatched hairline look. If you are looking for a tutorial on a snatch hairline look, don't look to me, look to Danny G because she is the queen of a snatched hairline. And also it came in a cute little satin drawstring bag. I love it. These are really, really great for storing your wigs and also traveling with your wigs because as I always say in all of my videos, when you are investing in a high quality product like a wig, you wanna make sure that your hair is well protected when it's not on your head. Ready friends, let's get started. So this wig is not on the website. It doesn't have a name. Um, it was a custom order, but just know that if you are interested in this specific look, D Muse does do customizations and custom wig orders. So just reach out to them. And if you're interested in this specific wig, just be like, hey, watch Marcy's review, would love that wig. <laughs> I don't really have 
the proper specs to actually share with you guys. I'm going to reach out to um, DMUSE just to see if they have any specs on file, just so I can put them down below, just so you guys know. But this is the wig. She is like the most unreal color. She's got like ashy tones, blonde tones, strawberry blonde tones. You guys know that I'm not great at explaining color, but she is insane absolutely insane so first and foremost i have no idea which size she is i have a feeling she is a medium cap size an average cap size because she is huge on my head unfortunately i was so sad I did request a small and i'm not sure what happened it's really really big on my head which is so sad but honestly i still make it work i still make it work so she is a lace top from ear to ear i have not cut in her ear tabs yet i have not had the time unfortunately they come with these combs throughout the wig but just know that you can always remove them if you're a baldy like me they're easy to remove comes with a resistance band to grip the wig onto your head and also it comes with a few adjustment straps at the back and it is machine clothes wefted this is a wig created by Danny G, aka D News. Um, I know this hairline is going to be snatched. I don't know why I'm saying that. I've already worn this wig and I love the hairline. Again, I already posted a little sneak peek on Instagram, but let's get started. Again, if I find out some of the specs, I will put them in the description box down below or in the editing of this video. She is stunning, so incredibly stunning. I love this blend. I kind of wanted like an ashier blonde, but she kind of like blew all of my expectations. It wasn't exactly like the inspo pick, but I think honestly, I love this even more because there are just so many dimensions of colors. I don't even know where to look because the color dimensions in this wig is like insane. Like, do you see how many colors that is? Like, it's like an overwhelming amount of colors, but also they blend so beautifully together. Wow, wow, wow. And look at that part. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as I said, I have not cut in the ear tabs, but I'm going to stretch out the lace as if I did cut them to show you guys this snatched hairline, this realistic hairline. Unfortunately, the wig is a little bit big, so even if I do stretch, it will lift just a little bit. But just note that once you glue that down or tape that down, that issue will completely go away. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So I'm going to stretch this out. I wish I had a clip near me. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding? Bleach knots, obviously. Oh, like... Wow, 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 wow. Let's do the other side. Like incredibly transparent on my skin. Like you cannot see where the wig starts. Like this is insane. Wow, 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 wow. And it's just like, I am such a fair person and finding a wig lace that like is actually transparent on my skin is hard to come by. Oh my goodness, imagine if this was glued down. Impeccable. Okay, let me show you guys an up close of this part. could also part it in any which way. Wow. Insane in the membrane. Let me give you guys a side and a back profile. So this is what it looks like from the side. 
And this is what it looks like from the back. Sometimes I can tell from the back just by taking like a picture or by asking people and I can tell if it's too big, if it looks too big. But honestly, despite the fact that this is too big for my head, it doesn't look like it, especially from the back. Like it just looks like I have a lot of hair, which is just like insane. The next step that I would take in making this wig a little bit more natural is I'm, I would just probably cut in some face framing layers. I feel like face framing layers just make the utmost amount of difference in how realistic your wig looks because obviously hair is just not simply one length and I feel like when you cut in face framing layers, it's customized to you, to your face. And it just like, it feels more like your own rather than just something that you're kind of throwing on, throwing on a wig, you know what I mean? I don't know, I feel that way. And I always recommend it to people because it really does kind of like normalize the process of wearing a wig because when you get a haircut, you normally get face framing layers, am I right? <laughs> I mean, I haven't had a real haircut in like so long, so maybe things have changed. But just from my personal experience as a kid, but ah, oh my goodness, look at this hair. Not to mention this hair quality is insane. This is obviously human hair. I always forget to mention that, but it is buttery soft. I don't know the origin behind the human hair. It is not shedding whatsoever. It is like buttery soft, buttery smooth. Like I'm running my fingers down and I am so amazed with the hair quality. It is so high quality. I am, I am simply so impressed. Wow, wow. In terms of what you can do and you can't do, obviously have fun with it. So you can curl it, you can straighten it, you can put hot rollers in it, you can put any kind of hot tool on it. Just make sure that you are using that heat protectant. Despite the fact that this is human hair, obviously you still want to protect it as if it was your own because you're investing a lot of money into this product. So. I just, I highly recommend using that heat protectant on your wigs, especially if you're constantly using hot tools. Um, and also throw in some oils every once in a while to keep it nice and smooth and refreshed. Obviously this is a wig, the hair is not growing out of the scalp, it's not producing those natural oils. So definitely throw in a little bit of Moroccan oil. Well, that's my favorite kind of oil that I use. And in terms of like styling the wig like up, you can absolutely style it in like a half up, half down. It would look so incredibly snatched if you did that, or if you were doing, if you were to do some braids. D Muse did add a little bit of lace at the back to make things a little bit more realistic if you wanted to wear it up. So you can absolutely wear it up, obviously, when your wig is glued down and the hairline is snatched. So you can absolutely do like a low to mid ponytail. I feel like for me personally, because this wig is too big, I won't be able to create that natural high ponytail. So it also really depends on if the wig is too big for your head. It's just something to keep in mind, especially if you are interested in shopping with D Muse, which I would, again, highly, highly recommend. Just make sure that their wig measurements align with yours to ensure that there's no kind of excess material, especially if you are getting a customized wig, ensure that you do tell them um, or you do emphasize that you are a small or a medium or a large, it's just so that it doesn't limit you from doing anything like a high ponytail can't stop like admiring this wig in my phone camera. Like this is just such a unique color blend that I'm just like, I've never seen anything like this before and I'm simply amazed. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. I would highly recommend checking out D Muse. Their wigs, honestly, I've been looking through the website and they are seriously impeccable like their hairlines if you are looking for a good quality wig with a snatched hairline 
I would highly recommend Demuse. They do offer, I don't have a discount code, but they do offer 10% off for anyone with medical hair loss. So that is something to note. They do do special orders or customized orders, but you can also just shop in their ready to wear wigs. Again, make sure that it is the right size because I would hate for you guys to get something that limits you from the full potential of the wig. I feel like we're coming to the end of this review. Honestly, in terms of like the review of the cap construction, it's a pretty basic average cap construction. I don't find them to be uncomfortable at all. They are pretty breathable in the hotter climates. I don't really have much of an issue with them. I find the wig to be very secure with one, the adjustment straps and also the resistance band provided. Honestly, I just really have no complaints other than the fact that this is just a little bit too big for me but like the color the hair quality the hairline it is insane <laughs> insane i love supporting new small businesses i feel like they put every ounce of like passion into these wigs and i know danny probably worked so hard to create this brand so i want to support her there's something so amazing about a wig brand that started from wearing wigs obviously danny has alopecia and she's the queen at wearing wigs so it makes sense for her to create her own business um, of wigs because she obviously knows what she's doing and seriously all of my expectations are blown. Seriously, this wig is so, so stunning. Go check out Demuse. As I said, I don't have a discount code, but they do offer 10% off for anyone with medical hair loss. So be sure to utilize that discount, save a little bit of moolah. Anyways, I'm gonna stop mumbling there. Go check out Demuse. Um, utilize that 10% off if you do have medical hair loss, save a little bit of money. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more wig content. Follow me on all of my other social medias to stay up to date on my life with alopecia. And we will see you next time on The Art of Alopecia. Okay, bye guys.